Is that the new Ferrari SUV? Not exactly. This is the Ferrari Por Sangue, and it's not an SUV. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it isn't. So if it's not an SUV, then what is it? It's an FUV. Are you saying SUV with a lisp? No, FUV is in Ferrari utility vehicle. Despite Ferrari being Ferrari, this isn't just their first SUV. This is also their first ever four-door vehicle. Ferrari was quite resistant to the idea of producing a four-door car. The brand has always been associated with high-performance sports cars, typically two-seaters or at most two-plus-two configurations. Ferrari maintained a focus on their core identity, creating fast, agile, and luxurious sports cars. Ferrari's leadership, including former CEO, often dismissed the idea of a four-door vehicle. They believed that a four-door car didn't align with the brand's philosophy of uncompromising performance and exclusivity. But the Ferrari Puro Sangue isn't just some market marketing gimmick. This is possibly one of the best SUVs ever made. With a naturally aspirated 6.5 liter V12 engine that produces 715 horsepower, making this not just one of the best looking SUVs out there, but also one of the best performing ones. And if we compare it to the likes of the Lamborghini Urus, you'll quickly realize that the Puro Sangue is just far more exciting. It's better looking, better sounding, but it isn't better priced. The price of a Puro Sangue is about $400,000, where the Urus will cost you around $233,000. Now, despite the price tag, the Ferrari Pro Sangue is quite real. Uh, unlike, for example, my content. You see, I've been out here filming a toy car, but it's getting way too windy. And the Ferrari Pro Sangue is also a masterpiece that we all must love. You see, the Pro Sangue in theory is a great project because it does what the people want. It's a big, fast car with a big, fast engine. You also get no hybrid or electric BS assistance. It gives us a tiny amount of hope that we can still drive normal cars. So why should people hate it? Well, first of all, no one really hates it. Second of all, well, the price. And the thing that's really annoying is, is Ferrari doesn't want to admit that it's an SUV and people call it an SUV. People are buying it as if it's an SUV. So is a car with a sexy red paint job and suicide doors a better option than all its competitors? Well, I have to say yes, because Ferrari has mastered combining luxury and performance, and they did it for a price that not everyone is willing to pay. I guess.